Let's add room constraints. Activities are not allocated to rooms by default, even if you added rooms. At many schools this isn't critical, since each class has its own room and so they always have the lessons in their classroom. But of course there are some subjects which should be taught in special locations. Let's add some special rooms, we have physical education in a large gym. In fact it can be separated into three rooms. So let's add three rooms, gym 1, gym 2 and gym 3. Also physics and chemistry need special labs. So let's add a room for physics and one for chemistry. Biology has got even two labs. So we need to add two rooms. There won't be a room added to an activity if you generate a timetable now. Just adding the rooms is not enough. FET needs to know how to use the rooms. We need to add room constraints. Since physical education can have three rooms, we add a subject preferred rooms constraint. Select subject physical education and add all the three rooms. FET will randomly select only one out of these three rooms for an activity if you generate a timetable. Similar to biology. Select subject biology and add the two labs. Physics and chemistry also need a room constraint. Since both have got just a single room we will use the room constraint, not the rooms constraint. But the way how to do it is the same, select the subject and select the room. Don't add too many constraints at once. I just do it in this video, because I know my data set very well. You should try to generate as soon as you've done a few modifications and check if your modifications are correct. It will help you to locate bugs if you don't generate too late. You might share the gym with another school. Just set the rooms not available if the other school activities take place in the gym. Don't forget to do it for all three rooms. You might also want to see the home rooms in the timetable, even if in fact this is unneeded. In normal cases schools have home rooms for students or teachers, but not both. Please don't mix the home room constraints, since FET will not know what do to if you use both at the same time. Just set for each class its own home room. FET will use home rooms only if there is no special room constraint. If your school has teacher home rooms, it is often a bit more complicated, since a few teachers need to share a single room. I will explain this in another video. Let's check the timetable. Physical education, biology, chemistry and physics should have rooms allocated now. You should see the rooms in all tables. The teachers, the students and also the rooms table. I will explain how to care about more than one room per activity, room capacity and building changes in other videos.